Hello everybody, today we're going to play a cool indie horror game called Light After Us. So we're just going to see how it goes. I didn't have time to read that, so... Oh, apparently we just jump right in. Oh, Life After Us. Fading Light. And, yeah, I got it on the Game Jolt and it looked pretty cool, so let's just run for it. F1 controls. What are my controls? Max Drave, Sprint, Crouch, Jump, Use Interact. Okay, pretty self explanatory. Tab is the pause key. Hmm. Well, we're gonna see how this goes. Apparently their wallpapers were not meant for 1920 by 1200 um, resolutions. Because it just like cuts it off at the side for me. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh sweet, notes. Hey, we're gonna call that guy Boney. Hey Boney. Looks like I'm not the first to stumble upon this place. Nope. We were exploring the cave when we felt the cave floor collapse under us. We survived the fall, but my leg's broken and I can't walk. John is fine. He is going to scout ahead and try to find a way out of here. I'm guessing he didn't make it. I could hear footsteps in the dark. Thinking it was John lost in the dark, I called out. As I did, the footsteps stopped and all I could hear was breathing heavily followed by nothing. Oh, so something in the caves. Well, that's not very reassuring. What was that? That was a weird light effect. Hmm. Hello. How we survived that fall, I'll never know. Simon's leg is broken. I've left one of the oil lamps with him. I've taken one to look for a way out. It's strange. The section of the, ca the, section of the cave is undiscovered. There are man-made structures. How old could they be? He had an oil lamp? Ooh, there's a sprint mechanic. I see no oil lamp. Simon left, to, or no, John left Simon to die. Wow, it is dark. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like so dark. Whoa, the graphics in this are very pretty. Good game. Oh, I would not walk across that rope bridge, no. No. Hmm. And... What the crap was that? I heard a noise. As I make my way through the cave, I keep thinking that I hear movement or sounds of scratching. The darkness must be playing tricks on me. No, it's real. But I did hear a noise. What is that? What are those? Oh, they're rocks. Yeah, we're rich. Well, it's shiny. Ah. Well, hello. Hello, buddy. We're gonna call him Bill. We have a Bob and we have a Bill. I've seen the remains of people and some and some odd notes from from some sort of expedition. I don't know how old they are, but we are we are clearly not the first to come down here. It's been so long since I have had a drink of water or something to eat. I keep thinking I see moving in the dark. Hmm. Oh, well, that's pretty clear. That thing moved. Apparently, thing's a good architect and made stone stairs too. With no tools. <laughs> Woohoo, those mushrooms. <laughs> Whoa. The particle effects in this guy are just fantastic. This is a free game on Game Jolt. I'll include the link in the description below, of course. Journal of Charles something. We have found the lower parts of the cave along with man-made structures proving that at least some groups of old ones lived here. 
we'll begin looking for the ne for the book next. Oh, the plot thickens. Walking down the endless cave. I'm sure, we'll find something. Oh, joy! It's a split pathway. Glutton for punishment. I'm just gonna go straight towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. That's always a surefire way to die, right? I got a train, head towards the light. <laughs> oh, nope, it's a page. A big empty room where something's probably gonna jump out. Trail of Charters, Hawthorne. Oh, so far, no luck. I was hard to navigate the caves and parts keep falling in. We will not give up the search. We can't give up. We have come too far for it. I say give up the search. Okay, we'll go up here. This is a really well made game. The lighting effects are just spot on. Do I actually have a lantern? Apparently I just glow. This is a very big cave. Is there anything else here? No. Well, that was just a waste of time. I climbed up the whole structure for nothing. That could have been worse. This was a nice structure. We're going to go down the next part. Wait, what? Oh, I remember where we are. I never get lost. <laughs> no. Now let's continue walking through the darkness. Something jumps out, my headphones are going to kill my eardrums. But it's the only way to play horror games, right? Mm, I don't like the look of this, but I'm gonna wander around anyways. Apparently there is a lot of water. I make regular walking sounds even when I walk in the water. Sweet. Oh, there's a sound. There's a sound. We're going back up there. <gasps> there's a thing somewhere in the dark. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, is that a tree? Oh, yes, it is. That was the same tree I saw. How's a tree even grow in here? Whoa, now this looks cool. <laughs> Dude, I put a lot of work into this. I don't know who made this, I'll look at it later. This is just downright impressive. Especially for a free game. They could probably make money off of this. Find something to break the rocks. On the way out, I can feel the wind behind the rocks. I know there has to be a passage out through here. I just need something to break the rocks. I'll just rest for a while before I look. I'm so hungry and thirsty, I just want to sleep. No, no sleep for you. Poor guy, he was so close to making it out, so the end exit is right there. Can I take a board? No. Well, normally everything I need glows in the dark, so I'll just look for a giant shiny object. What? Well, that's not very comforting. Hmm. Let's go this way. Okay, I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing, so let's just wander around in the dark. Place helped us in the past. Kind of. Nothing. This lantern is cheap. I would take it back to Walmart, where he got it. Something actually is here, I think. I don't know, I haven't seen 
anything since it showed me the one glimpse of the creature. down this path. Nothing. Now do I have unlimited sprint? Can I just sprint through this whole area? Hey, they do. Oh. Nope, apparently I do have limited sprint. They had that mechanic too. I'm impressed. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'm a little lost, guys. <coughs> oh, and apparently I do take falling damage. I kind of just half expected the mechanic wasn't there since some indie games might neglect it, but this guy was very thorough. Hats off to him. Oh, my health regenerates. To above the maximum. Sweet. <gasps> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I don't see Jack. There's like nothing here at all. At this point, I'm just kind of wandering around. It's a little discouraging. What about this way? Was this way I came from? Oh, it was. Well, it says there was a cave in, but I don't see it. Hmm, let's go this way. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming. Hmm. Well, you got me. I don't see anything at all. It's just a big, very empty room. <laughs> hmm. Well, I might just call this video for the day, and I'll continue looking around later. Um, if I see anything, I'll add it to the next one. I'll just continue on to it, because I, I wandered back and I couldn't even see anything. There's nothing here. <laughs> I'm a little lost, but it happens. But I've seen so far, there's probably a lot more stuff in this game because the guy put so much work into it. The lighting effects are great, particle effects, everything is just spot on. He did a great job. Um, this one's called Light After Us. Yeah. Light After Us Fading Light, and it's on Game Jolt. I'll include a link in the description below. You guys can check it out for yourselves and see if you like it. Um, for now, have a good one, guys, and see you later.